The new hand of the king Kevin conducts a meeting of the small council along with Olena Tyrell, when Pycelle starts rambling about Kyburn's work on restoring the mountain as an abomination, referring to him as, the beast. Cersei and Jaime walk into the room, opting to join the proceedings, followed by Esser Gregor himself. After Kevin states his objection to the two of them being there, Jaime counters by saying he has a seat on the council as the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. Cersei then orders the Pycelle to vouch for her brother's presence which he reluctantly does so, stating a precedent existed due to Esser Gerald Hightower being on the council in the same position under the Mad King. Pycelle objects to Jaime's presence, but to no avail. Kevin, Mace and Olena quickly leave the hall, whereas Pycelle cowers past Esser Gregor who ominously looks back at Pycelle. Pycelle later counsels Tommen concerning the Sparrows and Marjorie's imprisonment, but is stopped by Cersei. Despite Pycelle's protests, Cersei coldly orders him to leave. He defiantly questions her authority against that of Tommen's. Tommen then thanks him in an official but innocently frustrated manner, signaling his departure. Pycelle then respectfully bids adieu to Tommen and coldly brushes past Cersei, clearly outlining the antagonism between the two. When Tommen outlaws trial by combat, Pycelle is seen advising the king before the announcement, remaining close by during Tommen's speech. Tommen reveals that Cersei's trial will not be dependent on a trial by combat, dashing her hopes of escaping justice. He exits the throne room quickly afterwards, avoiding Cersei, now clearly allied with Kevin, retaining his support for House Lannister despite the downfall of Cersei. However, Cersei is later told by Kyburn that they could triumph due to new information from his little birds. Before Cersei's trial, one of the little birds is sent to Pycelle, asking him to come to advise the king. When Pycelle comes, there is only Kyburn waiting for him as the king is being kept in his room. Pycelle realizes that something is wrong and wants to leave, but Kyburn calls in his little birds. Breaking his act, he shows unexpected speed for a man his age knocking the first little bird to reach him aside easily, before being overwhelmed by their numbers and stabbed multiple times to death. 